Today I'm gonna teach you guys how you can create this sick text reveal effect inside of Premiere Pro, let's go. My name is Evan Wynn, welcome to Live and Present Tutorials. As I mentioned, today I'm gonna to teach you guys how you can create this text reveal effect only using Premiere Pro or an AI website and or Photoshop. Photoshop is only used to create the blank image layer without the text, so you can use that using like an AI website. There's plenty of them nowadays. I've linked below to runwayml.com in the description. That's a free one that you can use, but we'll get to more in that. Let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. All right guys, so now that we're in Premiere Pro, I have my picture right here of this sign and we're just gonna be doing all of this inside of Premiere and Photoshop, very, very simple. So the first step before you do anything is we need to generate a blank image of our photo. If you can't get a tripod blank shot of your sign whatsoever, then don't worry. We have AI, we have Photoshop. Now we can go ahead and remove this. I'm going to be using Photoshop 2024. The first step is to make a file size, the exact size of your photo. So ours is 2048 by 1365. Make sure that's in horizontal and boom. Now we have our Photoshop file. I'm going to drag in our image right here and it's nice and fit all around the edges. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this text. There's two options you can do this. We actually have now generative fill in Photoshop, which is really cool. So we can just go ahead and select everything. And then we can ask Photoshop to remove all the text. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but we're just gonna go ahead and give it a shot. By the way, I'm using the selector tool to use the generative fill feature. It's a really cool feature. Let's hope it works. And by the way, if you don't have Photoshop, shout out to runwayml.com. This is a free AI website. It works just like Photoshop. You have a bunch of projects that you can use to just you know do video to video text to video lip sync video and just a bunch of cool ai photoshop and video features but for now we have photoshop ai and you can see already off the bat it's honestly done a pretty good job i really like these the first and third result and that's actually looking pretty good if you ask me but the second option if you don't have photoshop 2024 the new versions you can actually of course just go ahead and use the spot healing brush tool and now this is over here i'm going to select on it i have to rasterize the image first and I'm just gonna select some letters and you can see it's just gonna go ahead and remove each letter. You kind of have to do this one individually because sometimes it just like generates new text like that. But it's honestly a really cool tool to have and it can just go ahead and easily remove some text. I'm gonna go ahead and export this now. Hit file, export as a PNG. Now let's go back inside of Premiere. We're gonna go ahead and drag in this new blank image sign that we just made in Photoshop onto our layer and boom, now we have the blank layer and the text. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select both of these layers. We're gonna right click them and we are going to nest them together. You can name it whatever you want. Then we're gonna to go to our effects over here and we're gonna search for the transform effect right here. And we're gonna drag this on and then we're also gonna search for the basic 3D effect, which we're gonna be using a little bit later. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to double click this nested layer layer and we're just going to go ahead and create some quick animation for the sign reveal effect. I'm going to create a simple basic mask just around this box sign over here just so we can have a nice little quick animation and let's just go ahead and invert it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and animate this mask. So I'm going to go to the very end because this is where the effect should, should play out. And by the way, I want this effect to only be about like, I don't know, let's say two to three seconds long. It's not really a super long effect. I'm going to create a mask keyframe on the path right here and then I'm going to go about 10 to 15 frames before it and let's just go ahead and animate the bottom of this so I'm gonna select those bottom two keyframes and move it up so it reveals just the bottom paragraph and then I'm gonna go a couple more keyframes before I'm gonna create another keyframe just right there to hold it and then we're gonna go a couple keyframes before that and we're just going to move it up all the way to the top so let's just do that we're gonna select the invert checkbox. And now you see if we play this out, boom, we have this nice text reveal effect. It looks pretty cool if you ask me. Now you can of course do this sideways, left to right if you want. I'm doing it up and down just cause that fits our case scenario the best. Now we're gonna go back to our main composition right here of the nested clip layer. And let's go ahead and create some animation to this. So we have this cool effect that starts right around here. I'm just gonna create a marker so I know where it starts. And now let's go back to our main composition with the nested clip layer. And we're gonna go to our transform and we're just going to un click use composition shutter angle and turn the shutter angle up to around like one actually let's do 240 that's like using my sweet spot now shutter speed composition is basically just the amount of motion blur there is so the higher that this shutter angle value is the more motion blur you're gonna have so let's go ahead and create a keyframe at the very beginning of the scale position just all that cool stuff and we're also going to create some keyframes for the basic 3d swivel and tilt as well at the beginning so we want it to stay the exact same how it starts and then once this effect starts revealing we're going to go ahead and have this 
this like camera zoom in animation so that we have like a cool like reveal effect with it. Because as I always say, the effect is one part, but the camera shake is really the sauce to any visual effects. So after we made those first few keyframes, we're gonna go like about 10 frames after, and let's go ahead and just zoom in a crap ton. We're gonna zoom in right here at the top. So it's all the way at this EPLP. And then we're also gonna just like tilt this a little bit on our basic 3D. I'm gonna create some swivel to it as well. It might readjust the position, but that's all right. Cause we can just go ahead and reposition it. And then we're just gonna go ahead to our basic 3D and adjust this swivel and tilt. It might readjust it and lock it up. That's actually my fault because what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to add the basic 3D before the transform. But that's very simple. We can just go ahead and move it right before by dragging and dropping. And now let's go ahead and mess around with this basic 3D. So I'm just gonna tilt it a little bit, angle it to the left, and then I'm gonna tilt it up a tad bit. So it looks like the camera kind of moves in to the side and you have some angle. So the more like, you know, 3D-ness to that you have, the more realistic it'll feel. So we can play that out and boom, we kind of have this cool little reveal effect. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it like move down even more. So we're gonna create another set of keyframes at the transform right here. So I'm just gonna keyframe the position and scale once again, go a couple frames after until it reveals. And I'm gonna zoom out just a tad bit and zoom all the way down right here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and readjust the swivel keyframe to the normal setting. Now you can see if we put it out, boom, we have this nice cool like text reveal effect with some camera movement. Now if that reveal animation is too quick, you can always go ahead and change that in your nested layer by just go ahead and readjusting some of those path keyframes. So we can zoom in a little bit and just give it some more space so that we can like see the reveal animation just a lot more. And the slower you have it, the better the effect will be. To make the camera movement feel a little bit more natural, I can just go ahead and hit the drop down on swivel and tilt. And then I can just go ahead and drag this anchor keyframe to make it feel more like Bezier and boom. Now we have this nice like smoother camera feel to it. And I could do the same with the tilt as well. So now if you play that out, the camera shake is a little bit more natural. I could do the same with the transform effect as well by just selecting all these keyframes, right clicking them and temporal interpolation. And I'm just gonna click the easy ease in keyframe. So now we have some more like smoother camera shakes. It's very minimal, but it gets the job done. And now we have this cool like reveal effect. I'm gonna go ahead and readjust these keyframes so that it zooms out when the bottom paragraph is revealed. Last but not least, we're gonna add some like camera shake hits to it to just make it feel a lot more like intense and hype style edit. Now you can do this with creating another adjustment layer and like specifically individually keyframing all these little camera movements so you can get the perfect hit. But also by the way, I wanna let you know we just dropped the Shake It Up V2 camera pack at 11%.net. This is a camera shake preset pack that we made for Premiere Pro. It comes with like 50 presets of drag and drop presets. I'm gonna show you how it works real quick. So I go to my effects, I'm gonna search for Shake It Up. And now we're gonna go to our project and create another adjustment layer, drag that on. I'm going to trim this adjustment layer down to about like, I don't know, eight, six to eight frames. And I want there to be like a hit right here, right when this text reveals. So we're gonna drag that adjustment layer right in the middle. I'm gonna go to my effects. I'm gonna search for Shake It Up V2. And now you see we have a bunch of hits. We have heavies, hits, medium hits, standard hits, spins, rotations, zooms, a bunch of crazy transitions and effects. I'm gonna go for the hit with a flash, which is six to eight frames. And now you can see if I play that out, boom, we have a hit with a flash. The flash is kind of a little bit too much, but don't worry, I can just hit Command Z to undo it and use a hit without a flash right there, which we also have. So now you zoom in, boom, we have a hit right there. And I can create another nice effect by just creating another adjustment layer, trimming that down to about six to eight frames. By the way, each shake tells me exactly how many frames I need to adjust the adjustment layer to to get like the perfect optimal effect. Let's go ahead and go for hits four without a flash as well. Let's see if that one looks nice. Boom. That one's a left to a right. I might do something that's more like in style with ours. I might do hit five without a flash. Now let's see if we play that. Boom. Hit and then another hit. That looks pretty crazy if you ask me. And I could just go ahead and adjust those adjustment layers to wherever I want to get the perfect camera shape. And we can of course have it continue to zoom out after the effect ends so that we have some nice animation. If you see if we play this out, we have this sick text reveal effect, all made entirely inside of Premiere Pro, no After Effects. Now, quick note, if mine kind of just looks a little bit boof just because the like AI replacement blank layer is like the colors are off for some reason, I can just go ahead and replace this with another layer from Photoshop, which doesn't use AI. So this one that we use with the spot healing tool brush has a more accurate like color layout. I'm gonna go to my Premiere Pro and I can just go to my nested layer, which I've already animated. And I can just go ahead and right click this and then just replace click 
clip from bin and boom there we go now we have like a more adjusted color palette i don't know why that kind of was just like messing up right there but obviously i created this effect like really quick just for this tutorial so if you spend more time making this background blank layer look nicer the effect will of course look a lot nicer but with that ladies and gentlemen there's a quick sign reveal effect if you guys made it to the end of the video, I just want to say thank you again so much for watching. If you managed to find any help or value from this video, please be sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe. It's free. All this content is free, so it would really mean the world. And once again, if you're interested in copying that Shake It Up V2 pack that we used to add some camera shakes to our effect really easily, I definitely recommend checking it out at 11percent.net along with the rest of our other crazy preset packs. We have title card templates, overlays, visual effects presets, after effects presets, premiere presets, and just a bunch more. We're even dropping our music video course this month. So be sure to check it out when it drops. And personally, these presets save me a bunch of time working on projects. So if you're looking for some fast, new, cool visual effects ideas, definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net, link below in the description. Once again, I just want to say thank you again so much for watching. If you had any questions or concerns, leave a comment down below. I love to hear what you guys have to say, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.